Frank, you knew it was going to be difficult tonight, but it's ended up being a heavy defeat. How do you feel the team performed this evening? I thought they performed all right. Um, it's difficult to say that after a 4-1 defeat, I'm not happy. You, you don't want to lose the game here, but when you concede the two goals early, I thought the resilience of how we got back into the game, I'm fortunate, I think, with the, with the Callum's goal. Then we get a goal at 2-1, we're fully in the game and competing with what is the top team. You know, when you match up our Champions League appearances to theirs and you look through their team, I think you can see a big reason there in, in, in what we've seen tonight. But I saw lots of good things in the team. Also some of the bad that we've seen this season, which is where we need to improve. And at 2-1, we're competing in a game. We don't get our goals. We have individual errors that give them, gift them goals. And um, at this level, that, that will finish you off. You've mentioned it there. You said to me before the game that your team has a slight work in progress. How do you see the season overall? Because I know a lot of fans are very positive about your work at the club. Yeah, I, I think it's not slight. It's a work in progress. It's not, it's not the norm for Chelsea in the last 15, 20 years. We have players of teams of the prime Hazard and Costa and prime Czech Terry Drogba. I mean, those teams competing for Premier League titles year on year, getting to semi-finals and finals regularly. We know that's not the case. We, we, we lost the best player in the league pr pretty much in Eden Hazard. We have a lot of players that are young and who have been on loan and come back and I think they've developed greatly through the year and that's why people would not normally commend uh, Chelsea coming fourth season. It's not always been the, the levels but a lot of people and when people were here working and the fans, the feeling is, and we're not happy with fourth, we want more, but the feeling is that we, uh, we've achieved something with the group we have but now is the important time to not to not rest, to not settle with the, the fourth and think where can we improve, where can we improve with the players, as a club where can we improve. Already got some big new names through the door this summer. Hakim, Hakim Zayesh for one, Timo Werner for another. Mm. Do you feel the club needs to strengthen further in the coming weeks? We will look at that because that's our, that's our job, my job, us. We've already joined up with how we've worked at it already. And from missing, from having a transfer ban, you feel the fact that we've missed, you know, um, uh, where other clubs have, have spent and improved. And recruitment is a huge part of this game. So I think when you look through the team, nights like tonight for me on a footballing sense, show me a lot. Me a lot, so it's a conversation now. The season is ended, it's a very quick turnaround, but now is the time to see can we improve? What areas can we improve in? Can we expect further business? Kai Havertz's name has been mentioned strongly with the club. I wouldn't expect anything, I wouldn't expect, but um, as I say, it's our job to go away and see, see what happens and, uh, and see if we can improve. Um, in a football sense, I feel like I know where we can, so now it's time to, to look at that. Frank, enjoy what break you can get. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Cheers, cheers.